Welcome to an amazing time with me. My name is Chacha. It's so good to have you here. You know this movie, I know I've made this video and I mistakenly deleted the video like I think in 2021, early 2021. I saved you from shame and disgrace. I don't care. I saved you from the jaws of poverty. She's twisting the story. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even be here to pay for the day. And so after deleting the video, I just told myself, I said, you know what, I won't, I, I wasn't in a hurry to, you know, go back to, you know, shoot this video again. It was just annoying. But I don't know, somehow, I've not really been in tune with Nigerian movies. So I'm like, okay, you know what, let me just redo this movie again and like, you know, what will it take from me? So today, guys, we'll be reviewing the movie Mama Drama is a... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me explain. What is normal about another man sleeping with you? Five million. Mm -hmm. Why is she doing this? Why? Why now? I need to know every single detail as your lawyer. The 2020 Nigerian movie directed by Shei Babatope. In most of his movies, Shei Babatope's movies, most of them anyway, are okay. They are passable. Like, you know, you can devote some minutes to watching his videos. Like, when he really wants to go all out, his movies are always good to see. This movie has popular actors and actresses like Kunle Remy, Osaz Igodaro, Keinde Bankole, Femi Ade Bayo, Shafi Bello, Aduni Ade, Chinyere Wilfred, Olive Emodi, Rikia Ata, Okweyemi Ayola. Okay, now this movie, as at the time I saw this movie, it really, I connected to the movie in a way, in a, in a deeper level. I think it was the way Osas Ikudaro projected the pain of. A married lady who hasn't had a child for her husband you know various movies show a childless or a lady who hasn't given birth various movies show where the plot centers around inability to conceive at, at, at the appointed time and you know the pain and all but in mama drama Osasi Godaro went a step further now this movie rather is about this family this couple uh, Kunle Remy and Osasi Godaro, they are married. Osasi Godaro is like a year, two years older or a few years older than Kunle Remy and they are childless per se. She's always uh, getting pregnant and having miscarriages. So her mother-in-law Shafi Bello is a tad bit or really impatient with the whole thing and wants them to have grandchildren by fire by force now they've tried everything they can do and it's not working fast forward to osasi godaro making a plan with her pa also was it her own pa or her husband's pa they came to the conclusion that she will be the surrogate mother of their child so you know the usual process of surrogacy they carried out the test they even they had a lawyer make job a contract for them and um, at the end of the day she carried the baby to full term and had the child so they settled this they settled her pa and everything was okay they thanked her it was a baby boy and lest i forget they said the story this is, the movie is based on a true life story yeah now <laughs> after having this their child this their you know this their precious son their precious baby boy they relocated Kunle Remy and Osasi Godaro relocated to the US and now her PA is married to a soldier and you know they continued with their lives and all of that now a few years later five six seven years no five six years later her husband died in a mission and their only child their child you know that they had their son together died so she was left with nothing like she couldn't just understand how she lost her husband and her son just like that and she just couldn't explain it and Sassy Godaro and Kunle Remy settled them handsomely as in financially so she was able to improve upon her financial status her job and all of that and now she was not really well to do but you know financially comfortable now Kunle Remy and Osasi Godaro come back to Nigeria and they are living their lives fast forward to when they all 
excluding Kuneremi, think of Sassy Godaro and her son bump into the surrogate mother. And then she takes a look at the boy and, you know, can't really, she's speechless and all of that. Yeah, I'm not going to bore you with all the details, that, but you know, just know that along the line, she sued them for custody of the boy, that the boy is her son. And they're like, this is a surrogate, we paid you to be our surrogate, that I can carry children to full term. So the contract was for you, my own egg, my husband's sperm, to just carry the baby, carry the pregnancy. And now you're coming to say, this is your child. And she says, no, a dead son looks like the boy, a husband, this blah, 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 and blah. And now the matter gets to court. Everyone is all up. Her mother-in-law is like, oh no, what is this? How come? What's even going on? You know, through it all, you would see the pain of Osasi Godaro. I don't want to miss that. Osasi Godaro was the epitome of a mother who who was in pain like the pain of you know the years of suffering of losing all the children through miscarriages and then finally getting that particular one if it's evil they'll say ofunkuru you know ofunkuru like that one that manage manage one you know and then then coming to tell her that the child will be given to someone else so they conducted a DNA test and they found out that the child was not Kunle Remy and Osasi Godaro's child but <laughs> But, you know, the PA's child, the surrogate mother, and everyone was like, what? What happened? Because in the contract, she wasn't supposed to sleep with her husband. She wasn't supposed to have sex, have intercourse before YouTube would just <laughs> demonetize this video. Have intercourse with her husband and, you know, so many other things there. And then when they put her on the stand during cross-examination, they found out that she actually slept with her husband because the husband was going on a military... Uh, assignment and she, she felt it would not affect the eggs you know that had been inserted into her into her womb so there goes now the bone of contention is should the child who has never known any other mother than osasi godaro father like than kunle remy now be given to this other lady who you know from nowhere if they not come back to nigeria now it would have been a different issue altogether but now they were in nigeria and osasi godaro was like you know what is because we are here she attempted to leave nigeria with the boy but later on you know she was not successful so at the end of the day the boy now started having one or two issues kidney wahala blah 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 and um, blah 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 so at the end of the day they now decided to have is it not joint custody but she the so-called biological mother was allowed to come visit the boy whenever she wanted to and that was where the movie ended it was a good movie if you're just watching osasi godaro kunle remy you know and the plot it was a good movie it was a wonderful watch adunia Ade, she did well um shafi bello was excellent but what where i started getting upset was where Kunle Remy's auntie has twins. So they say, where are the twins? How are the twins? And then during this whole problem and all of that, she now tells her sister that actually that she did not give birth to the twins, that it was true surrogacy as well. And this was, that these were the problems and all of that, but they didn't want to share it. What are the odds? You know, I don't know why Nigerian script writers, directors always put someone through that kind of thing. What are the odds? Why, why, why? The, the movie would have just been straightforward. Why would you just go and put, what would I call it, a comma in the movie? Why? Why would you just stress someone and, you know, otherwise undo the good work that you have started doing? Which was what they did in the movie. But other than that, it was an excellent watch. The cinematography was excellent. It was good. I think what even started, you know, working adversely on my psyche was that it was a true life story. So I'm like, okay. So, you know, apparently when the boy is 18, he will get to choose who he wants to be with, who he wants to call mommy finally, and blah, 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 blah. So it was really a complicated plot, but a nice one at that. And they pulled it off really well. So, which brings me to the end end of this drama review i'll be rating this movie be a 5 over 10 um they did well individually the plot was okay but you know trying to add things inculcate things into the movie into the plot that's necessary trying to add things into the plots that were not necessary sports 
what would have been a wonderful watch for me so that's why i'm i'm rating the movie this way if you haven't subscribed don't forget to hit on the subscribe button don't forget to turn off your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come up thank you so much for doing this with me up there you'll see my korean movie reviews my nigerian movie reviews my chinese movie reviews and then again my movie reviews this 2022 i promise to be better more frequent yeah i do promise that just give me a few um just give me a few weeks to get my act together but well, thank you so much for doing this with me i appreciate you i appreciate you thank you so much bye